smoking on some potent one and only fire OG courtesy of my homie Vortex. Shout out to him. Smoking hot picks. You already know what it is. Uh, we have been torching shit lately if you have been paying attention. And I look to keep that going. Uh, really been hot with college football all year. I'm hoping to keep that going as well. Anyways, I'm excited to get into this Friday night matchup between Colorado State and Wyoming. Wyoming coming into this one as the favorites. They have a record of six and four. Uh, the spread is minus six and a half. The total is set at 50 and a half for this game. Take a look at some recent trends for both of these teams. Colorado State coming off of a disappointing loss. Uh, they had plus 10 points to cover, still couldn't cover against Air Force. They lost that game 38-21. to 21. Um, They have won three of their last five games, however. Wyoming, on the other side, took a tough loss against Utah State, 26-21. to 21. They were unable, unable to cover a plus four spread. Um, Colorado State is 3-2 and two against the spread in their last five games, coming off a big loss, like I said, to the Air Force. 2-3 and three against the spread for Wyoming in their last five games. Uh, they also took a close loss the week before that to Boise State, 20-17, to 17, covered a huge plus-16 spread. Colorado State is 3-2 and two against the spread on the road. Wyoming is 5-0 and straight up at home and 3-2 and against the spread at home. They are also 3-0 and against the spread and straight up in the, their last three head-to-head -head meetings versus Colorado State. Uh, Colorado State has gone under in five of their last six games. The total has gone under in four of the last five games for Wyoming. So I'm keeping an eye on that under for that total at 50 and a half. Uh, the total has also gone under in eight of Colorado State's last nine games versus Mountain West opponents. And for Wyoming, the total has gone under in four of their last five games against Mountain West opponents. Colorado State is one and eight against the spread in their last nine Friday games. Colorado State's starting quarterback Patrick O'Brien has 10 touchdowns and four interceptions. He's completing 62% of his passes. He has two or more touchdowns in three of his last four games. It's pretty impressive. On the other side for Wyoming, bad news. Sean Chambers, their quarterback, is out with a season-ending leg injury. So backing them makes me very nervous. As far as running goes, they're averaging 220 yards rushing per game. Uh, Wyoming's running back Valaday has 869 yards rushing on the season and five touchdowns this year. The backup quarterback for Wyoming, in case anyone was wondering, has one touchdown and three picks this season and a less than six yards per pass attempt. Uh, Colorado State's defense allowing 32.6 points a game. That doesn't make you too comfortable. Uh, they are averaging 145 yards rushing per game. Marvin Kinsey has 703 yards rushing and six touchdowns this season. Uh, based off the fact that Wyoming's starting quarterback is out with a leg injury, it doesn't make me feel too good to back them minus six and a half. I like Colorado State to cover this plus six and a half spread. And I like the total to stay under 50 and a half, especially with the fact that Wyoming has a backup quarterback trying to win this game for them at home and keep that undefeated straight up record at home. Um, I don't know if they're going to stay undefeated. I think Colorado State could sneak a win in here. Uh, sneaky win for a Friday night NCAA college football game. I like this under total, though, under 50 and a half. So I have two picks for this one. The total staying under 50 and a half and Colorado State plus six and a half. Those are my picks for this game. Thanks everybody for watching and go ahead and cash this one.